Let me ask you an out there question. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so if you think of like humans on earth, life on earth, as this pocket of complexity that emerged, mm-hmm. you know, and there's a bunch of conditions that came to be and there's uh, Darwinian evolution and h- however life originated. Do you think it's possible there's some pockets of complexity of that sort inside dark matter? That we well, can't see? so that's possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- I th- Chemistry and biology evolving in different ways. And that's one of the reasons we suggest, I mean, it's not the reason, but it would be true if there were the type of interactions we suggest. I mean, it would need more complex ones. And we don't know. Um, I will say that the conditions that give rise to life and complexity, they're complex, they're unlikely. Um, so it's not like there's great odds that would happen, but there's no reason to know that it doesn't happen. It's worth investigating. Are there other forces that exist in the dark matter sector? That's exactly right. So the, the dark matter sector doesn't have all the forces of the, the standard model of physics? Right, as far as we know, it doesn't have any. It might have it at some low level. Yeah. But it could have its own forces, just like yeah. the dark matter might not experience our light. Maybe it has its light that we don't experience. So there could be other kinds of forces. I mean, there could be other kinds of forces even within our sector that are too weak for us to have discovered so far, or that exist at different scales than we know about. I mean, we detect what interacts strongly enough with our detectors to detect. So it's worth asking. And that's one of the reasons we build big colliders to see are there other forces, other particles that exist, say, at higher energies, at shorter distance scales than we've explored so far. So it's not just in the dark matter sector, even in our sector, there could be a whole bunch of stuff we don't yet know.